The recycling of plastic bottles is changing the fabric of society because those bottles are being turned into polyester yarn. The recycled polyester yarn is woven into material that's used to make socks, fleeces and other things. It puts a whole new spin on polyester. Polyester is made from oil, so recycling means we get more mileage from a precious resource. They convert polyester manufacturing waste on the left and plastic bottles into chip form. Pulses of hot air toss the chips, giving them hard shells. They go through a dryer to get rid of moisture that would weaken the final product. The shells keep them from sticking together, aiding the drying process. A worm screw moves the chips through heated pipes, which melt them into a thick liquid. This molten recycled polyester is now ready to be turned into yarn. It will be pressed through this dye plate that looks a lot like a shower head. It's part of a device called the spin pack, which also includes a mesh filter, a metal distribution plate, and bits of shattered metal for extra filtration. It's important to screen out impurities that might compromise the recycled product. They screw the cap onto the spin pack and insert a metal connector piece. They preheat the pack so the polyester won't harden as it flows through it. Then they transfer it to one of the openings from which the liquid polyester flows. There are dozens of these openings, all capped by a spin pack. Sixty-eight tiny holes in each disc shape the recycled polyester into filaments. They cool and harden as they exit. Each one is five times finer than a single human hair. Some of it breaks during equipment stops and starts and that goes into a big box to be recycled again. The rest converges and funnels into a guide, which bundles all the strands into one yarn. The yarn travels around rollers into a compartment where air buffets the yarn to entangle the filaments. This holds them together. A spool then racks up the yarn at a rate of over 200 kilometers an hour. An autonomous vehicle pulls up. The spools move into position and a long spindle emerges from the automated vehicle to collect them for more processing. They group a sample from every production run with strands of black yarn, which allows the lighter yarn to stand out. They fray both ends of the yarns with a razor, so they'll be easier to examine under a microscope. The technician projects the magnified image onto a screen and counts the number of filaments. At this point, the yarn is stiff, like dental floss, but that's about to change. This machinery pulls the polyester yarn over heated rubber rollers. The process stretches it and realigns the molecules. More equipment twists it, and then it's taken up by automated spools. Now this recycled polyester yarn is less like dental floss and more like wool. From plastic bottles and manufacturing waste to polyester yarn, this transformation has taken just a couple of weeks. This recycled yarn is now ready for the material world making consumerism a less wasteful thing.